Hi Taurus Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed, excuse me, I'm eating a chocolate donut, a chocolate cake donut with sprinkles and some milk and it's so delicious. Um, <laughs> and I, I feel that's a part of that Taurus energy that I'm picking up on. You're sitting in a, a good place of comfort and abundance. And I feel that you're also at a level where you are caring less about outside energies in comparison to what you used to give in the past and putting more of that energy into yourself. Um, for this reading, <laughs> I will be doing a three card spread, past, present, and future using the Melanated Classic Tarot. And then I will be clarifying those three cards using the Egyptian Tarot. And then doing an overall major arcana card using the golden tarot. I've already pre-shuffled all three decks, but I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times and split the deck and we will begin. We are in a spotlight series where we are giving honor and thanks to all 13 zodiac signs, doing each of them individually as we go through each round of the zodiacs. And so for this round, we are giving honor and thanks to the sign of Aries moons. Send a shout, send some love, give a hug to any Aries moon people that you know. This is a way again to connect to that outside energy that is um, surrounding us all the time. Realizing that is the energy that is within us. So getting more acquainted and better acclimated with that energy to come into greater completion and wholeness. So thank you, Aries Moons. And I will be leaving a very detailed description just as I did with Pisces Moon, giving the definition and a breakdown of the characteristics and personality of Aries moons. All right, so we'll leave this here, your past card. We have as a seven of swords, yes. So I'm getting both sides of this energy here still, but automatically I'm getting that the thievery, the lower vibrational toxicity type behavior is um, in your past here. This is behind you. This is behind you. Someone is running away thinking that um, they're successful in what it is that they're attempting to do here, but they've left uh, some evidence here. The sevens being energy of being on the right path. I feel that this is a choice that was made by a particular energy that's a part of their journey. I was channeling that you have gained a different perspective when it comes to understanding people, other people outside of you and the choices that they make, realizing it's their deal and not necessarily yours, where you're supposed to get what you can out of that situation, however bad it may be. It's happening for you and it's not happening to you and you have an understanding and compromise here. I feel four energies now at the level that you're at where you realize that with it affecting your energy and your emotions in the past, that was like taking your power. So you're taking your power back and um, in doing so, it's shifting that energy, shifting yourself here overall away from this type of energy here. This is swords energy. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's being illuminated. The truth is being illuminated about some thievery, some, uh, some trickery, some naughty, naughty behaviors. That's a no-no. This being in the past, I feel with you moving on, you coming great into greater power, it's increasing your magnetism and your light. And so that's automatically, I feel contributing to the collective where other souls are in this vibe here too. And it's just increasing the light across, I feel across the world, to be honest with you. 
we're almost like seeing the circus tents. Like, I feel for a lot of those who have awakened, feel like they've been in a movie or they are in a movie. And what's happening around them um, has been a circus here. It's a circus, what, you know, circus acts here. But then again, you know, it also goes to those purposes for those particular individuals that make these choices here. It's a part of the journey. This is about balance here too. Strong Libra energy. So this could be a Libra person that's coming through. But this this is helping to get to some kind of balance and order here with the actions that are taken here. There's a Three of Swords energy and then a Two of Swords energy. Three of Swords being a very painful, heartbreaking, heart aching situation. Maybe feeling also too that they're getting away with it. Um, like not just like, 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 because <laughs> I... So your video cut, and I do feel that it is um, having something to do with the Seven of Swords and the Illumination. For a lot of you, you may be experiencing situations where you're speaking on energies that you've experienced that have to do with this. And as you're doing that, something takes place where it's almost like the vibration is like at a shock and something automatically happens. So some of you may be experiencing that. Your present card, we're going to move on away from this card here. <laughs> Your present card is the Queen of Swords. So you're, you have cut this off. You put this behind you completely. I do feel that this energy may be looking back towards you after trying to get away with something. And maybe even realizing that they left two swords behind here. And what I was saying... um, and maybe that's why I got cut off, is that um, not only does this person think that they're getting away with it, there's a a certain, I don't know, there's there's something pretty, um, pretty deep and intense that's going on here with that energy. And I feel you have that knowing. There's an intuitiveness here with this Queen of Swords. One who is delicate in their actions, but very quick to use that sword of truth and slice off what is no longer serving them. You may be seeing swords, like in the physical. The Queen of Swords makes up the Empress energy. So we do have Empress energy. I feel that you come into that. That actually did um, come out of this deck here too. You had cards popping the whole time I was preparing for your reading. Um, as I was doing other things and trying to get the cards together... The Empress did come out of this deck. It fell out onto the floor there and turned face up to show its present there, presence there. So I feel that's a part of that illumination and that magnetism that's within you being very, very strong in your power here. Where we now have this Queen of Swords that you have come into to deliver the truth after experiencing some non-truths here. The hand is open, and I feel this is just speaking to you welcoming and going with the flow of things, that going back to the perspective, having a different perspective on things, and realizing that things that are happening are happening for you. So you're welcoming any kind of energy that is wanting to come towards you because you're able to use the sword and handle it in the best way that is possible for you. And those that, you know, um, matter very dearly to you, I feel. Seeing the bird up here, I'm almost feeling too. And that's, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. So when I was speaking on the significant way of thinking that they're getting away with something, it's possible that there's a magician energy that's present here. And I'm seeing the Gemini symbol now that I say that here in this Chu energy. Also high priestess energy here too. So this person also being very intuitive here. And that may be the reason why this video got cut here too. But I feel this person is a shapeshifter. And there's a spying energy here. A spying energy. And you're calling this out. You're calling anything out because you live in truth. And so anything that goes back to that energy of that shockness here, anything that's not resonating, 
it, I feel it just like bounces off of your atmosphere and it, it is no longer affecting you in the way that it has before because of your level up. And this is two air sign energies, communication, intellect, the telepathy coming through, the shape shifting, logic. I feel this being more about logic and less about emotion, where you may have been more in your heartfelt space. Again, that going back to what I was saying with what I was picking up on as I was eating that delicious donut, you're sitting more in your comfortableness and bringing in your own abundance because you've learned from the past here and are no longer expending your energy on unnecessary situations that are going to drain you and not give back to you. So you're replenishing yourself by maintaining your energy and being mindful of how you use your energy moving forward. Being in a very pure state here, highly protected, having that level, uh, that leveling up there being very connected to the divine. I just feel like a lot of y'all are chilling because you, you have a knowing. There's a strong knowing. All right, so let's see what your future card is. We have the Nine of Swords. It was in reverse, so I feel maybe with this being in reverse, this is just kind of speaking to that future position here that this is to be because you're delivering some truth. Having that knowing, I feel that you're welcoming this energy here that you know is going to be in a Nine of Swords so that you can completely get this out of your atmosphere in your life. As within, so is without. You have mastered the energy within yourself. I feel you've come from a healing when it comes to a Nine of Swords that you have um, been dealing with in the past, being related to the Seven of Swords energy here. But I do feel that this is an outside energy more than the energy that's within. I feel because of you being in this Queen of Swords energy and that Empress energy, you have overcome this and the remnants of it are being seen outside of you to be dealt with and completed. That energy coming through there with the nines, speaking to completions here. And also too, with that knowing that this will be in an upright nine of swords here, I feel it's also because of that energy of this person here thinking that they have gotten away with something. Ten ten was on the clock too as I was getting ready for your reading, that being the card of judgment in the major arcana. Nine energy also being ninth house energy, Sagittarius energy. Jupiter being the ruler of Sagittarius. So I'm also getting to this person possibly being very abundant, but just in a very, I feel this is an adult who's in a childlike energy. And because of what it is you're doing here in the present, it's going to shift this energy here. I also feel too, this is kind of speaking to that ending that you brought in for yourself. So because you're being in your truth with this queen of swords, cutting off what no longer serves you, welcoming anything and everything because you know it's, it's designed to help you become greater. This no longer taking place in your life here where you have been up, worried, in your head, possibly being gaslit constantly. The telepathy, this is all swords, all swords across the board here. 
this being over for you, this energy being over for you. But I do feel that this is going to be taking place for you sending that energy back, just as I said before, um, and what I was feeling. You no longer taking on the burdens of others and sending that energy right back to where it came from. And because of that, we have a Nine of Swords reverse where this is no longer your problem. What has taken place here with that Seven of Swords? On the flip side of that Seven of Swords that I got, um, that I had mentioned, this being your strategy, you being strategic and transmuting from the Seven of Swords from a lower vibration and um, flipping that into a positive, bringing you more into your power to um, create this wonderful Queen of Swords energy that is in you. And I'm going to see, I moved this over because I'm going to see what comes after this. I know I said three. <laughs> we have the Queen of Wands. Because you're in your power, again, I feel, and just as I said, um, with the shift here that's taking place and you no longer being in this Nine of Swords here, it's like you just continue to increase in your power. This is a hot mama here. And this is not gender specific, so just take what resonates. But we have another queen coming from that Empress energy here. Very magnetic. Very abundant. Yellow energy. You are the light. That's that illumination that's surrounding the Seven of Swords here. There's a heart here. And not intentionally, but I'm seeing a heart there right in the middle. And that totally meaning that you've worked on your heart chakra energy and have mastered this to where you're loving yourself, that self-love coming through very strongly there. Very brave and courageous energy, balanced energy, masculine and feminine energy, that balance coming through with that seven energy, seventh house Libra. Mastering the energies within yourself here, coming into great balance. Having some fruitfulness and some growth here. I feel a lot of you may be planting, maybe gardening, getting into something that has to do with flowers. Ace of Wands beginning here. I'm getting there. And it may be also, too, you building on a new foundation with that truth being the beginning of that there, too. And because of this and that shift that you're taking upon yourself here, you're making for yourself here, it's moving you into this. Queen of Wands here with this Ace of Wands beginning. So that being something new you're bringing in for yourself here too as well. Spiritual energy of a connection of a soulmate that's here. But this also just speaking to that greater spirituality coming into that from this Nine energy. Uh, cats being a symbol of spirituality. Black cats. Pyramids are here too as well. I do feel that is connected to past life energy. You connecting and receiving energy and message from the divine, that divine connection that was coming through here. Having that knowing and with that knowing, being able to rest at night and no longer being up and worried because you live in truth and you take care of anything outside of you that um, isn't resonating with the truth because that's not your vibe. All right, so let's get on to the clarifying energies here. But along with that Queen of Wands here too, this is a very loving energy. One who is um, building empires here and a very attractive the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands I consider to be, um, I mean, they're all attractive energies, but when it comes to um, the outer appearance, I feel the, the Queen of Wands is a very significant one here. Also a go-getter and one who is quick to go after what it is that they want. Let's clarify these Seven of Swords. All right, so there's four cards here. I'm feeling because of the energy of the Seven of Swords, there's a lot that 
this illumination. This is what's being illuminated. This is clarifying what is all being illuminated in relation here to a Seven of Swords here. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. This is the strategy, the positivity that you transmuted from that Seven of Swords there, the Ace of Pentacles there. The Ace of Pentacle, Pentacle being Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, that having to do with you and your material abundance. Just as I said, I just feel that you're sitting in comfortableness here. So your overall energy, I feel that just speaking to you again. And this, I'm seeing this as the sun and the rays here. So sun energy coming through. The sun being um, the card of 19. That breaking down to a one. So we have 11 energy, that two energy coming through with the high priestess. You transmuting that there too as well. But the sun card being one of the most happiest cards of the deck. Speaking to rebirth, renewal, illumination, that coming through for that energy there too. But I feel, um, I'm also getting too that it's not just about your Taurus energy. I feel that for a lot of you, you have other placements in your chart that are Earth, that have um, played together along with the planetary alignments and what's been shifting and taking place. And that's all connecting because it's your destiny. So let's see what's connected to the Seven of Swords here. So we have the, ooh, the High Priestess in reverse. So that intuitiveness that I picked up on there with that two energy coming through there, but that speaking to this negative energy, that lower vibrational energy coming through here with the High Priestess in reverse, using that intuitiveness in order to spy mainly and that could be standing also too for other things that have been happening the gaslighting as well there too the magician in reverse look at that and i'm hearing that's nastiness with the high priestess in reverse and the magician in reverse that's nastiness but that's here too with the gemini symbol it's all being clarified here what what was coming through here with that seven of swords the nine of pentacles so with this, I'm getting a single energy where that is uh, one of the important things of this energy here, not just about being single, but then also too, I'm, I'm just hearing selfish. And this is the first time I've gotten that with this nine of pentacles, but I feel that with that nine energy, that's what you transmuted. Um, and because they were in this nine of pentacles energy where I feel it had more to do with wanting to stay single and never having an intention of honoring a contract that was here. And because of that, we now have this nine of swords energy where I do feel it's because of a shift that's taking place that will be happening and you having that knowing there. This is more of um, earth energy, your energy, Capricorn and Virgo. You transmuting this. And then we have a Five of Swords. Where Five of Swords is fighting its nastiness. I feel it's a part of that nastiness that's coming through here. Very transformative energy here with the Five energy. But I'm seeing that Three of Swords and that Two of Swords from that Seven of Swords. Not so great energy here. Let's cl clarify the Queen of Swords here. I believe that was the Three of Cups that was on top. Three energy coming through very strong here. We have the Empress here. No explanation needed there. Um, that going back to what I said there with you just bringing out the Queen of Swords energy from within your Empress energy here. Also being in celebration, that Three of Cups that um, I do believe that I saw that popped over and we flipped back. So you being comfortable, very confident, glowing, having a, a knowing, but that illumination of the sun here. With you being in your power, it's that illumination that's coming about 
with anything that you're connected to, whether it is uh, low vibrational or not. And if it attempts to be in your atmosphere, it's going to be illuminated here. That's how much you've come into your power here. But you're treating yourself and you're glowing and you're looking forward to greater and new endeavors, I feel. Especially with this Nine of Swords here being in your future here. I feel you're very much looking forward to that after a long time here of going through this and overcoming this. This is what you've overcome. Congratulations. We'll clarify the Nine of Swords. This is landing, so I'm going to take it. The Five of Wands. More five energy. So we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. These are heavy burdens here. Even with this not being a Ten of Swords or a Ten of Wands, it's still a five and a five with Wands and Swords that making a ten. So I do feel it's speaking to the combination of both of those energies being present here. It just being a split here, but making up a whole of that 10 there. All the while breaking down to a one where there's a new beginning. So with the nine of swords energy here that's in reverse, it could be too with it being in reverse. This speaking to an intensity of a nine of swords in reverse here for a particular energy because of what it is that they made the choice to do here. But with that five of wands, that being about um, fighting here too as well. Competition, one-upping, battling, and you welcoming this so that you can complete it and bring it to a close here. The 10 energy coming through and then the nine leading into a 10, that 10 of swords there. And in doing so, we have the Queen of Wands to follow there. You coming even greater into more of your power. Taking care of business and then getting back to your glow here with the Queen of Wands. Taking care of business and doing what's necessary as you... I mean, it's like a carry-on attitude now that you've leveled up. Anything, again, that comes your way that doesn't resonate, you're cutting it off and then getting back to your shine and your purpose. move this up here clarify the queen of wands clarify the queen of wands the ten of cups come on good for y'all Good for y'all. And I feel that you're already feeling this with the Three of Cups. It's just a build up into that Ten of Cups. But even more of that success and that celebration. Once you complete something here, I feel with this being in your future tense, this energy, um, this being a part of a cycle here where the actions have been taken, this being illuminated, someone being in their head about it over time here, and you welcoming this energy as it represents itself here in your future path or future position here so that you can cut this off because you're very much in your power here and you have things to do you have very important things that you're here to do and you enjoy what you're doing you're excited about what you're doing three of cups coming through and in doing so here you're bringing in this ten of cups this is more water energy, Capricorn, or excuse me, <laughs> uh, Capricorn could be significant here too. I'm getting that being tied to the Cancerian energy and that self-love, fourth house energy. But sorry about that. Um, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Ephucus. Where there were five of cups energy, that five coming through very strong. Five, 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 you may be seeing. But I'm seeing this as five of cups and a five of cups situation. Both of these situations being similar, but one being more significant than the other here with the symbolism that's here. Spreading your wings and having growth from this energy here. Enjoying your success. All right, so let's get to your major arcana. Let's 
Aquarius moons. This is a lot that wants to come out all at once. I feel that kind of speaks to the impact of the change that you've gone through, how much you've really truly done for yourself and just how strong you really are. Oh my goodness. All right, well, Taurus moons. <laughs> this was your reading. Because they're, I mean, it's double confirmation here. You have the Empress twice. I mean, seriously. And you're glowing. And you're glowing. Look at this. It's amazing. 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 That's it. Enough said. Enough said. Another card of three. Three energies. You may be seeing a lot of threes. Masculine, feminine, divine energy. And not only that, but this is the golden energy. The golden energy, the Egyptian energy and the golden energy. I can do that. And that's you, I feel that's you. Overcoming and accomplishing and moving greater into success and happiness and abundance. Your Taurus energy here, I mean, that's what you're here for, right? And you're doing it. So congratulations. We've also completed this reading. Along with the Aries Moon reading, this was one of the more difficult readings that I had to do to try to get it completed to get the message out there. Because I do feel the resistance of energies that you have put in the past are trying to remain but also still feel that they can get away with what it is that they're doing. And you coming more into your power, I feel that connectedness with others that are coming into their power. It's creating that whole wide span illumination, that worldwide illumination I was getting. Wonderful. Taurus Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, empowering and enlightening for you. I do appreciate every single one of you and I thank you all for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.